Hey guys, I'm back with another action figure review, and this time we're going to take a look at the DC Collectibles DC Comics New 52 Nightwing figure. Now this one is the second New 52 Nightwing that we've gotten from DC Collectibles recently, uh, as we got the Greg Capullo series figure earlier, uh, well, last year now, <laughs> but um, this is your more generic, not artist-specific Nightwing from the New 52, and Though he is based off of the art later on in the series, I believe issue 17 it took over. So yeah, I got I picked this guy up today from a mock time and I just wanted to get the review up because I was excited to pick this guy up. And uh, we'll see what I think. So pull him out, we'll take a quick look at the package. Um, it's your typical package that we've been getting. Let me get a shot of the top there. You got the Nightwing logo from his book. You can see it in the back of the package as well. And then on the bottom, it just says DC Comics Nightwing, obviously red on the fold. And on one side, we have a shot of the figure. And it is sculpted by Joseph Mena, which I'm not sure I have any other figures sculpted by him, so that's interesting. Um, we have a shot of the New 52 Justice League, and then the other two figures that were kind of supposed to be in a wave together, though this one got pushed back, Supergirl and Batgirl. And on this side, you just have a silhouette of the figure. And there you have it. It's got little air holes on the top. I never noticed that. I don't know if they all have that or not. So, bring the figure back in. So my first impressions of this figure are a little mixed. <laughs> um, I definitely like that he is a slimmer build than the Capullo series figure. Um, I like... The costume, how it got a slight bit of a, not a redesign, but a different bit of a design, uh, the few changes they made in those later issues, like I said, I believe it was issue 17 where the, the costume changed. Um, I do like those details. The differences were, um, when the New 52 started, Nightwing's uh, red V kind of ended like around, uh, was it around like his shoulder? And then later, it extended down into his glove, and then on this issue, it goes all the way down and he has finger stripes again. Additionally, he also got these little details on his hips and the red around the collar, which is pretty cool. I could, I mean, I could go either way with these. I could, I could do without them, but I do like the red detail around the collar. I think that looks pretty cool. He also seems to have... Now, I can't, I can't really remember specifically from the art if his eyes were... Complete, I, I guess they were kind of like this figure where it looks like he has like the white lenses but he also has a red outline around them which is interesting I don't know how I feel about it but, um, I do prefer this this variant I guess, or iteration of the New 52 suit so I'm glad to have a figure of this one and the Capullo figure has like the kind of in-between phase um, and I will be doing comparisons with that figure and a bunch of others at, towards the end of the review, so don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, so I, I also don't love this head sculpt, and that's probably what's putting me off the most about this figure, other than some quirky little, like, stance issues that I'm having that I'll explain also. But um, I, if you've watched any of my other Nightwing reviews, you know I'm very picky about Nightwing head sculpts for some reason, and I mean... I. I guess it's just my first Nightwing figure ever is still my favorite head sculpt for a Nightwing figure. I just think they haven't topped it, and, you know, um, neither did Mattel. But just this one, I don't know. I look at it, and I kind of just, for some reason, he looks like an owl to me. I don't know if that makes sense. It's something about his eyes, and it's funny because I feel like you can really see it, like, in the silhouette on the side of the package. Like, I don't know. It just looks like an owl to me. But... <laughs> Between the eyes and then the hair, it's kind of like a weird swoop, and then it sticks out on the side, and it's like, I don't know, it looks very, like, kid's hair that his mom just styled so that he'd look nice for school, instead of, like, you know, Dick Grayson. <laughs> but other than that, I mean, the sculpting overall is really, really nice. The, 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 the suit... The, the V on the suit is sculpted, and it has, like, a little etching along the edges, which looks really, really nice. It gives it a nice finished look, um, and that goes all the way th uh, along the arm as well. It's very glossy. 
um, but doesn't do it on the hand. And you can see I've got some paint scuffs on this glove. It's really bugging me. It's missing red on the stripe, and then there's red on the, the gauntlet where there's not supposed to be. This one's much cleaner, but still not perfect. There's a little bit of red on this fist. Very annoying, because I don't, I don't know, the arms came out so clean, and then this, the gauntlet just did not last. Um, but, yeah, the chest has that, those, like, the ribbing that he has in the suit from the beginning. Um, there's even some panel lines, which is, is interesting. Uh, you can even see under his, like, armpit has, like, I rotate the arm here a little bit, has, like, a mesh kind of looking texture, and it's also a different color. It's gray underneath the armpit, and the rest is black. Um, it's very stiff. The joints are very stiff. Um, the, the, the stripes on his hips are sculpted as well, and they also have some kind of poor paint right there. Um, he's got the spikes on the gauntlet, and it's cool because there's some mix of, it's, he's a very flat black, um, on most of it, the suit, and then the gauntlets and the boots are a kind of really dark gunmetal, they're like a slightly different color than the black, um, and they're a very, um, subtle metallic, I would say. So yeah, like a dark, dark gunmetal, and then the tips of the boots are another different color, it's just a gray, so it's like... I don't know if this is coming off the camera. Um, very cool how they did this, just the subtle changes in paint color for that. The there's the legs have um, sculpted lines throughout, like the thighs here. Knee pads are sculpted, and the boots have the really cool, um, like ridging on them as well. And then you have like the toes, toes around there. So a lot of nice sculpt work. So what was his name? Joseph Mena, I believe. Good job. Good job. Although I'm not in love with the head, <laughs> but overall really nice. And uh, yeah, let me just give you another shot of the head there so you can see. It's not a bad head sculpt, and you know it actually does look quite a bit like the artwork around this the time the costume changed, the the suit changed. So you know, I mean, I guess he's just doing his job. I just I think it's the hair that mostly throws me off. <laughs> Very weird. The, his mask is a little uh, painted a little poorly on his nose. It looks like it's coming a little farther down than it should right there. But, you know, I don't really notice that. From, well, I notice it, but... <laughs> um, I did not speak of his accessories right away, which is usually the first thing I talk about. Um, if you haven't noticed, he has some Escrima sticks on his legs here. Now, they're really, really tiny. This, I wouldn't even call this an Escrima stick. Um, I mean, you can see, you know, you can assume my hands are like average woman-sized hands, and it's like the size of one, you know, pad of my fingers. Like, when he holds them, he's got, it's, it's got like a little handle that has like a texture, so you can put that in his hands. And when he's holding them, they just look like little like, baton, like, not even, I don't know, they just look not at all like an Escrima stick, and not at all like a threatening weapon, even, that, you know, were he to fight with these, would I be, like, intimidated? Like, look how tiny that is. It looks like they're drumsticks, they look like drumsticks. I don't know, I don't know what they were thinking. I mean, I understand, they, they're meant to, you know, because they're supposed to go in the holsters on his legs, so if they made them really long... I guess they'd hit, like, by his knees or something, and then that would, I don't know if that, they were worried about articulation or just the aesthetic of it on his leg, but I, they don't look good in his hands. I don't, I mean, <laughs> I'm probably just going to keep them in the holsters because, I mean, I guess, I guess at least there you don't see quite how bad the proportion looks. Um... And yeah, they do just snap in one on each leg, which I thought was interesting as well, because I could have sworn that they went the Young Justice route and gave him just one holster on one side, and both Escrima sticks were in that holster. And I tried Googling for reference, and I did see one from the comics where they were like this. So that's... I, I do like this design better, because it makes more sense. You can grab both Escrima sticks at the same time out of each leg, and just go. If they were... It's the Young Justice design where they're both here. You have to kind of pull both out with one hand, and then grab one, and then you can fight. So it's kind of... It doesn't really make sense to me. So, 
yeah, but I just wish they had made those bigger. I don't, you know, I mean, I don't, I can see, but they could have made, you know, it wouldn't have even, who ca who cares? Like, it would have gone past his knee, so what? I, I don't know. <laughs> um, so I guess I'll do articulation now. I think I kind of hit all the sculpting and paint and all that. Um, his articulation is very stiff, at least on my figure, and it's not very... It's, it's quite a bit limited, I think, for these newer figures that we've been getting. It's more in line with, like, the Teen Titans and the original New 52 figures than the late, like, the more recent, uh, and the Capullo figures and stuff. So the head will swivel side to side. Um, it doesn't go up or down, <laughs> like, at all. Great. Um, the shoulders do go out but only to about there and then they rotate but it's really stiff okay there we go I'm gonna, oh I stuck uh oh oh I'm gonna rotate that back it's very stiff so yeah it, it should rotate all the way around but um doesn't really want to it has the bicep swivel a single jointed elbow and a glove rotation, not a wrist rotation. And these are actually pretty sharp, so be careful. <laughs> um, no ab crunch or waist rotation. His legs are T-jointed or, you know, whatever, ball-jointed. Uh, they'll go about that far forward. A little bit back, but not really. And then they go out. Now, quite a decent amount. Um, however, only my right leg will want to go out that far. The left leg doesn't want to go past like here so I don't know what's up with that uh, but I, I don't know he interestingly enough has cuts above his knees I'm assuming they put those in because they didn't break the sculpt really um because he's got these ridges but they don't I don't know I don't feel like they serve that much of a purpose um I mean, I guess a little bit, maybe for kicks with this, but it doesn't really help me when my figure's legs won't go out enough, so. Um, single knees. And then he does have a hinge at the ankle, but wow, is it stiff. Um, can barely move it, and honestly, I'd rather have it that way than the case of my Capullo Nightwing, which you'll see shortly, whose ankles are so loose that he can barely stand, so... Um, I guess this is better, <clears throat> but yeah, can't move him too much. Now, I did mention earlier I had a little bit of an issue with his stance. Now, it's strange because if you, so if you line up these cut joints to, to you know, so the musculature is all lined up, which in itself is a task because this one's sculpting is a little bit off, I feel. This one's a little better. Um, line them up and his legs don't really stand straight. They, he, I kind of have to make it so his feet are like, the, can you see that? Or like this. They can't be like directly side by side or he is, those cut joints don't line up. So that's a little weird. Um, like if I try to stand him, you know, with his, oh, there we go. Um, the, the cut joint won't be lined up. There's, there's like a ridge that it's kind of makes it look ugly. It's doable, obviously, but... Oh, okay. Nope. It's not like that. <laughs> uh, there we go. Maybe. Maybe? Yeah, so... A little bit weird. I, I don't know why they chose to do those cut joints, really. But, um... So let's take a look at some other figures for comparison. First, I'll just show you some, a Batman. So just to see what he looks like aside of Batman. Um, my The only new 52 Batman that I have is the Capullo series, so I will be showing you that one, um, even though he would probably be better off with the Capullo Nightwing, <laughs> but there we go. Actually, these two look pretty good together, because the Capullo Nightwing, I feel like, is rather tall, so these actually look really good together, considering, um, even if their styles are just a little bit different. Even this Nightwing is still kind of tall, but no, it's, it's good. Um, he's a little bit shorter than Batman, which I like. Um, so that's cool. And I like that the sizes are, uh, this Nightwing is a lot slimmer, so it looks more like a different, um, whereas the Capullo Nightwing, who I'll bring in now, just so we can look at them all together. He's just very buff. 
Um, he's just, he's almost as buff as Batman, which is not accurate. So, he, this one just doesn't, doesn't like to stand. Very, very loose angles. And dusty. Um, so, yes, so that's the Nightwing. So you can just see the, the art style, obviously. You know, this one is more suited to go with this Batman. Pull them over here. But... This one works too, so if you, if you, if you haven't picked this one up and you only want to pick up one, you know, it's up to you at this point. I, I, I like both of them. This one has more articulation, a little less, you know, the joints were very loose on this one, the joints were very stiff on this one. It depends on which look you like better. And if you don't have the, either of the cool figures and you're just trying to go New 52 style, then obviously you want this guy. So, uh, let me just take Batman now and we'll take a closer look at these two. So you can see they did, you know, different approach here. They have the glossy and matte black on this guy, and then they have a gunmetal instead of gloss black on this one. So I actually quite like this. It's a little more subdued looking, especially with more details going on in the suit. You don't really want to pull too much attention with different paint colors and stuff. Though this this is um, like a semi-gloss, which is cool. Um, so let me bring this too closer here. So you can see his suit, his uh, stripe goes into the gauntlet. And this one is continued if you don't twist the gauntlet, that is, which obviously breaks that. So that's cool. You can see the neck, the red on the neck, and the uh, red on the hips. And then the face hooks are very different. Very different, obviously, for Capullo style, and then the New 52 regular, you know, whatever artist was on that. I don't know who took over for the suit. Um, and... I don't like either of their hair. <laughs> I think they both look like a little boy being sent off to school by his mommy in a different way, but um, yeah. If I had to pick one, I, I think I'd pick the, this one just because um, I appreciate Greg Capullo's work, but his style isn't like my favorite, so uh, I do like this one. And I like how this one's slimmer, and I do like the new suit, so there's, that's cool. I like how the V goes down a lot in the back on that one, and the Capullo's doesn't really look like a V at all. So that is the Capullo Nightwing. And let's look at my favorite Nightwing from DC Direct slash Collectibles. The Origin slash Hush slash Hush re-release <laughs> um, Nightwing. Very simple, great build, um... Just, but the, it's just love the face sculpt. I think it's just, I don't know. I just look at it and I think, wow, that's Nightwing, cool. You know what it is that makes this look like an owl? I just figured it out. It's that the, the domino mask is so round. It's very round. Like, this one is very straight and then it's very pointy. And then this one is very round. And like I said, I think that is kind of, like, accurate to the art, so. Um, it's not really the sculptor's fault, so. Um, but yeah. You can see they're just adding details to this that don't, you know, like the hip things, they can go and it would look a lot cleaner, but eh. I also don't really like him having spikes on his gauntlets. I think that's a Batman thing. I like him better without them, but anyway. most This was mostly to look at the head sculpts because this is my favorite Nightwing head sculpt. And, uh, yeah. And lastly, we'll just take a look at the Mattel Nightwing. Just for comparison's sake. This is... A, a lot of people really liked this head sculpt. I always kind of thought he looked a little like Elvis. I don't know. <laughs> um, but, you know. It's decent. And it's just, you know, it's a Mattel figure. It's painted and set of sculpted. And sorry, all my figures are dusty. They're not in a closed case, like a nice lac, um, not lac, Detolf. I don't have Detol cabinets, so my figures get dusty from <laughs> being on the shelves. Um, this thing is leaning forward. What is up with that? So yeah, I think that pretty much covers all the comparisons and all my thoughts and everything and this is going on 20 minutes now so I should wrap it up so I do like this figure um, and if you're you know a Nightwing fan or you are a DC fan or a Batman fan or etc etc and you're thinking about picking this up I'd go for it 
Um, I'm picky. <laughs> I'm a big Nightwing fan, and so I end up being very picky about these figures. But I do like it, and I, I promise. And um, I just wish he wasn't so stiff, really, is that probably my first concern. It's just I want to be able to pose him. And I wish his scream sticks were bigger. I don't know what that is. I might I might just take like a... I've tried making some out of like straws before I plug the ends and then I paint them. And I don't know if they'd fit in his hands though. So I don't know. I might look at something to... And they'd also wouldn't fit in the holsters. So I don't know. But yeah. <laughs> I do recommend this figure. And I hope you enjoyed the review. And I will hopefully be getting back to reviewing soon. I actually, the whole reason I hadn't been reviewing anything recently was because I'm, I'm trying to move from this review space to a different room in the house, and to do so I have to clean that room up and rearrange things, and sorry. Um, and so I was trying to get that done before I fil started filming reviews again, so I could kind of just move my camera and lights and everything to down there and just do it, because my desk here was covered in stuff. Um, so to do this review, I cleared this off because I didn't, I couldn't, I'm not done with my new space. So, um, in the meantime, I might still try to film some things here. And if not, you know, eventually you will see me in a new space and hopefully that works out nicely to have more room and stuff. Um, and yeah, so I'm done now. I'm done talking. Thank you for watching this review guys. And I hope to see you soon. And, uh. Yeah, so this has been my review of the DC Collectibles New 52 DC Comics Nightwing. Thanks for watching, guys.